The images and stories that are coming from Ukraine have had many people in disbelief. But for a Waynesfield couple, those stories have a personal connection. They have them sending prayers to the people that live there. It breaks our heart to see the death, the destruction, the unnecessary killing. For six years, starting in 1998, Robert and Jeannie Waitman and their six children began doing Christian missionary work in the Ukraine. They call it the best times of their lives because the people they got to know and help. They're very tenacious people. They, if they get something in their mind or they want to do it, they don't stop, they do it. Like I've seen people hurt that should be in a bed, go out and work. Um, they, they're very kind. Once you become their friend, you're their friend for life. When Russian troops began their invasion of Ukraine, the Waitmans started worrying about those friends that are in harm's way. There was one young lady that was my interpreter in the villages, and she's there. Her brother's in California. She was to go get her paperwork to come to America just about a week before, or maybe two weeks before, they shut the embassy in Kiev down. So we were trying to, we were getting her, trying to get her money to get to where she, if she could get out of there, but she said, I cannot leave. They're shooting at the cars now. I have a friend that lives in Kiev. Her and her husband are both doctors there. Um, when the first bomb hit that small airport in Kiev, it woke them up. Their apartment building was pretty close, and they took off for the hospital and have been there since then. And then where we lived in Zitomer, which is west of Kiev, um, they've had a lot of problems. We have two military bases there and they bombed them, but a lot of the soldiers went to keep, so they had very limited, but they're holding their own, even though they can't leave because they get shot at. The Waitmans want people to know that the Ukrainians are not going to back down. That they won't give up, the, the doctor that's in Kiev, she said, we didn't go to the Russians, the Russians came to us. And she said, we're not leaving, we're staying put and we're gonna fight to the death. People are seeing the spirit of the Ukrainian people is that we want our independent country. We want to form our democratic society. We don't want to be underneath the Russian Federation anymore.